Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the 23rd week of the year. We celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. You know, some of the greatest challenges is to follow Christ. Today we have the Beatitudes reminding us of what's really important in life, that we always keep our focus where it belongs. For the times we failed to trust in God, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. A God strength of those who hope in you, who will that Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil, desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. By these, you too once conducted yourself when you lived in that way. But now you must put them all away. Anger, fury, malice, slander, and obscene language out of your mouths. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate toward, toward all, all his works. works. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The, the Lord, Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate toward, toward all his, his works. works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate toward all his works. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The, the Lord, Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate toward all his works. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and they exclude you and insult you and denounce your name as evil on the account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. For woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for the ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I read something, you know, um, out of World War II, because I'm still fascinated by things that happen during those times when everything seems to be wrong and um, you can't seem to find any good coming out of it. But here's one. Um, during World War II, a young bride from New Jersey followed her soldier husband to the U.S. Army camp on the edge of the California desert. Her husband had advised her against going because he knew the living conditions would be primitive at best but she wanted to be with him and he wasn't able to change her mind. When the couple arrived at their desert camp, the only housing they could find was a rundown shack near a Native American village. The heat was unbearable, up to 115 degrees in the shade. The wind blew constantly, spreading sand all over everything. And now her days were long and boring 
and her only neighbors were the Native Americans, none of whom spoke English. When her husband was ordered further into the desert for maneuvers, she became lonelier, and the wretched living conditions began to get the best of her. So she wrote to her mother, I can't take any more of this. I want to come home. Several days later, she received a reply from her mother. In it, the mother reminded her of an old family sampler on which the familiar lines were embroidered. Two men looked out from prison, bar from prison bars. One saw mud, the other saw stars. When the daughter read this over and over and over again, she decided, okay, I'll look for the stars. And the days that follow, she made friends with the Native Americans. She began to learn from them about weaving and pottery. She was fascinated by their culture and by their history and learned so many things about them. She began to study the desert. And in the process, she talked about all the things she had paid no attention to that really uh, there was so much there to learn. So a remarkable transformation took place, not in anything except in her. He, the, 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 her whole attitude was changed because she did what her mother had written to her. Two men looked out from prison bars. One saw mud, the other saw stars. So what situation you're in, if it at times seems unbearable, Maybe we have to take those words to advice, and maybe if we take that advice, we just might find there's a reason to keep going, there's a reason to keep trying, there's a reason to never give up on ourselves. God bless. For those people that remind us the importance of sticking to the plan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people who work in the military, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who defend us, our way of life, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For police officers, firefighters, um, hospital personnel, um, ambulance people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our journey through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you Food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, be God, God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. May the sacrifice we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Yes. Father, in every age you raise up many women outstanding in holiness, living examples for us to follow. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, cup we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. 
Remember Joan Sokach and Daniel Cerulli, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. To offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant our merciful God that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, everyone.